Hey YouTube, this is Drift to the End, and I'm coming at you with a video. Today I'm going to be discussing how a YouTube user is trying to scam me. It's for sure, 100%. So what happened was I sold a Xbox One controller for repairs. With shipping, it was $20, but I had an or best offer when I first started it out. I usually do that until I get some watchers, and then I'll just put it flat, buy it now. Because they like to look at them if it's best offer. So anyway, I had it for best offer. He asked me if I would take 12 bucks, and I declined it. By then I had like three watchers, so I just put it to buy it now. So he bought it right away, and I'm like, okay. He wanted it for 12, he's buying it for 20. He's probably going to scam me. <laughs> so, you know, I go ship off his item, and I get a message from him saying, well, I hope the controller really works, and this and that. Uh, because what I said was that I tested out the controller. Usually I can't test the broken controller because they're broken So what happened the problem with it was when the battery pack was in there it worked just fine But if you had to put batteries in it the connector Where on the back where you put the batteries in it was loose so it wouldn't work Unless you had the battery pack so I just stated that in the listing So he's like I, I hope it works like you said and this and that and I said yeah yeah man It's perfect you're gonna love it you know um, perfect condition and everything other than that so but I was already sketchy because first of all he went and bought it you know for full price when he asked for 12 bucks he snapped on it and bought it and then he's asking he's hoping it works I mean come on I have freaking 300 good feedback you don't have to worry anyway he gets the item and 17 days go by and I forget about him and this morning he hits me up and he goes, hey man, uh, the reason why I didn't get your item is because I was away for 17 days and I got it and what happened was the module on the controller to fix it, it's going to cost me $20 and it's not going to be worth the repair. Can you just give me a partial refund and um, we'll call it even. And then I told him no, like I thought about it, usually I do the partial refunds, especially when you're new, you got like low feedback, you definitely want to do the partial refund because first of all, you can get a bad feedback from him if he gets pissed off that, you know, you're telling him to return the item because he's trying to scam you, you're not letting it happen, he can give you bad feedback, so I don't have any bad feedback, I was worried about that, but I was like, you know what, this guy's a scammer. So I was like, hey man, just send me back the item and I'll give you the money. He's like, well... Then he messaged me back. It wouldn't be worth it to send back the item because it's going to cost me $20 in shipping. And I'm like, what? Wait, no. I'll pay the shipping back. Okay, I'll give you the shipping label. You ship it back to me uh, and I'll give you a full refund. Just give me the item back. He kept going, well, you know, you should really do a partial refund. And I'm like, no. You know, ship, ship back the item. Then he tries to tell me he's out of country. Um, he's in Europe and... Uh, that's why it's going to cost so much money to ship it back. And I said, okay, we'll contact eBay. I'm sorry about this. I'm just trying to get it resolved. And he keeps saying partial refund, partial refund, partial refund. And so um, I contact eBay, of course. I report the user because I know he's a scammer, man. He's getting blocked real quick. But aside from that, um, then he actually makes the return after all this back and forth. He, he asked for a return. So I accept the return, I send him the shipping label, and what, about 30 minutes later, he sends me a message saying, oh, you're messed up, you know I can't send you back the item, um, you know, forget you, you know, whatever. So I think he's not going to return the item, which there's a couple scares. Number one is I thought he was going to return, not the item, maybe a piece of plastic or something, and said he returned it. If that happened, I'd be totally screwed. Now we're talking about a $20 item. It said the shipping back would be seven something. So it's $27 of my money uh, getting robbed from me from a scammer. Um, I don't really deal with much scammers. I've uh, been on eBay for three years. Probably had, you know, three or four scammers and, you know, only two of those were like for sure scammers. But, you know, the other ones were questionable. And so usually I'll do the partial refund, but this time I didn't feel like it. Um, and I think it's going to work out in my favor. He has until the 30th to ship back my item. If he doesn't, they'll close it in my favor. I called and reported the scammer and I told him, hey, I'm scared. I did everything I'm supposed to. I told him, go ahead and sh uh, ship the item back. I'll give him his money back. What if he gives me bad feedback? So I talked to a supervisor and she said she'll put in the notes that no matter what, they'll remove the feedback. So I hope that happens if he gives me it. He hasn't given me bad feedback yet. 
But um, what I'm guessing is he's bluffing because he knows it's going to cost me a lot of money just to get the item back, which is not in good condition. But what I believe happened was a lot of these controller fixtures, they sell controllers. So he probably sold the controller, you know, and he's like, oh, let me try to get 10 more bucks. So he hit me up with this. He even sent me a link showing how it doesn't work. Like it works, but when uh, you're not even pushing anything, the little um, joystick, like on the screen, will go down like this. And he probably, when he was fixing it, he knows how to open it up. He probably made it look like that because I even tested it before I sent it to him. <laughs> so this time, usually I don't test it and I probably would have given partial review of them, but I tested it before because I had the Xbox One with two controllers and that was one of them. And I played with it for a while, for like a half hour, played online, Xbox Live, and it was working perfectly. So I knew. Then he tried to tell me, oh, well, yeah, it might have been working, but since you put it in bubble wrap, it might have had too much pressure on the joystick and it broke it. And I'm just like, come on. Because I send out, you know, brand new controllers the same way every time and they never break. No problems with it. So uh, definite scammer. That's a scammer alert. Um, yeah. Have a good one.